Take a look how beautiful that sword is. I mean, oh, look at it. So we got that sword in the previous part. Now we are currently doing a quest. Out of the Shadow. So Mid has gave us potentially, I believe it's going to be free quest to source materials to build some awesome looking ship. So welcome back to another part of Final Fantasy 16, guys. Let's get it. Okay, let's speak to Helena. What's she going to give us now? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Okay, so part two, we're letting off steam. Yeah, there's going to be three parts to this quest because it makes sense. The first part, we gathered some stardust. Some stardust with Otto. We learned a bit more about Otto, so I believe I made the right decision in getting him on the quest with me because I had the choice between Otto or Gav. Now we've already done a few quests with Gav, you know, we've rescued him, we've been through the trenches with him. Otto not so much, we've only spoke to him in the hideaway, so it was nice to actually get to know him a bit more. And we're gonna fight some bitches! I'm excited to be honest. Can I fast travel near there? Hmm, no. I need to make sure I'm going the right way though because I don't know why in this map I always get lost, so... Okay, if I... What's the best way? Best way is probably up here, actually, come to think of it. Let me just make sure... I always have to make sure I'm going the right way, because, yeah, it's so easy to get lost in this area. It might just be me being a dumbass, but... I don't know why, in... Like, in The Witcher, The Witcher 3, I always get lost in the towns. I'm not sure why, because they're not exactly, you know, huge and... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I can't even explain it, but uh, maybe I just get lost and a dumbass. How am I gonna get there? Ah, okay, go up the hill maybe. So I've got up that hill, which is the wrong way. Wait, what the hell? Which way am I supposed to go? I shouldn't go up there, should I? Right, let's open this, see what's in here. Five bloody hides, okay. So. This map is not showing me exactly where to go. This might take a while. Oh, I need to sneeze as well. Fuck, I need to sneeze. Hang on. And because I'm so generous, uh, I've muted that sneeze because you guys do not need to hear that. It's not exactly groundbreaking content hearing, you know, an English person sneeze. Watch. If I kept that in, I would have got thousands of views. Okay, so I'm positive this is the right way. Let's have a look. No, what the- WHAT THE FUCK?! <sighs> this 
isn't going well. How am I lost already? Okay. So... If you go... I can't go that way. Oh, this is embarrassing already, guys. This is so embarrassing. Hang on, Toggle, you show us where to go. On the map, it doesn't show going that way works, but... It looks like it would. This is so strange. Don't understand. Hang on, let's let's actually just go this way and see where it takes us, because... I mean, it looks like we're getting closer to it. Get on the chocobo. I'm sorry about this, guys. This is probably the most Let's boring go. part of the video so far. Like but the map doesn't appear to be accurate because look at showing that we're going the right way. I hope we are. Otherwise, I'll just have to fast travel back and that will be embarrassing. I don't think I can go up there. Oh, guys, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to be honest with you. So far, each part of the game has been interesting and not super boring, and I've just doomed us all. Gonna jump? Nope. Oh, come on! How am I gonna get to there? So you can't jump over the wall. Hang on. Of course there's gates. You know what? Let's fast travel back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, because when you follow the map, it says, oh yeah, go here. But then you can't actually go there. Maybe go in there. Oh, there's a little cave there. Maybe that's where I was actually supposed to go and I've just missed out completely. I don't know. Is it a cave? Oh, uh, my bad. I've just realised where I have to go. How can you be so dumb, Dagon? Oh, how could I be so dumb? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the right way, so. Not the first left, the second left, okay. Okay, now I've remembered. Ah, uh, that is, that, that's awful. I'm not surprised if many of you guys just turned off the video way before this, because... That probably took about five minutes of our time. I want to say about five minutes, just looking around, seeing where to go. Ah, oh, so embarrassing. Hopefully that's the last time that happens. That's one thing I've always disliked when recording content. Sort of when you're at a puzzle or, you know, when you're looking where to go. It's either, do you make a harsh cut on the video and skip out your process of playing it? Or do you keep it in and potentially bore people? Now, that's tricky. A lot of the time, if it's... If it's anywhere under 5-10 minutes, round about that ballpark, I'll keep it in, mainly just to have it there. So, you can see me on my struggles, and it's a realistic playthrough of me playing it, you know, I'm not trying to sugar sugarcoat it, saying, oh, my computer crashed, or I had to go to the toilet. Time to fight. Sometimes you see that, where people be like, oh yeah, I just had to go to the toilet, it's like, dude, we were just stuck looking around where to go for the past hour, let's be honest, come on. Ah, oh, no, so I have to... Oh, okay. Thought I would have had to kill those bitches before speaking to her. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. I don't mind killing stuff. So, slay the creature that take up residence in the ribbons. Oh yeah, we get to use our skills. How big is it going to be? Anybody home? This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Really? Just a fucking eyeball? How disappointing. Oh, what's going through my head right now is that principal skin of meme. Pathetic. Right, here we go. And did that evade did it evade that in time? Oh no, okay, so we did manage to get it. Right, escape that area blast. There we go. Oh no, okay, it didn't get it. Let's actually use our Titan skills, which are pretty awesome. Push. Oh, move. Come on, Toggle, do something. Why don't you change into something funky? Push! I like how it's literally named Unwanted Visitor. So is all we have to do in this part is kill that. Get 
Here we go, bitch. Use instinct. Oh, it's got a lot of health. I thought I, I thought I'd done way more damage to its health, but clearly not. Oh, new sword looks badass. Bish, 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 bish. Oh no, we should have powered up that attack. That's what a con team forget to do. When you power up the upheaval attack, that's a double check then. When you power up the upheaval attack, you need to make sure it's ideally in the red zone. Oh shit. Oh, just about dodged that. Because then you do the most amount of damage. There we go, staggered him again. Let's use all the skills we can. Okay, so we got Rage and Fist back. And then I'll show you now. So if you get it to the red, boom! And that takes off a lot of health, considering how many times we've attacked this enemy. It takes off a considerable amount. Okay, so it literally said that's the unwanted creature in the ruins, but if we're going into the ruins, I would have thought there would be sort of like a dungeon area where you fight multiple enemies. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Okay. Okay, so that's that quest done. Probably would have done that within about five minutes. Even less if I just didn't fucking get lost. Okay, so we've got Isle of Warrior, which is increases strength to unlock duration by 10 seconds. And we've got Meteorite. Okay. Let's go back to the hideaway then. See what other quest there is. Okay, so report back to mid. Now, we should get just one more quest after this. Not entirely certain, but if we're building the ship, will we see that soon? We should do, but where are we going to travel to? Now, are we going to see Prince Dion? Look for Joshua. Possibly going to the last Mother Crystal, that's what I'm confident in. There's no, no other thing I can think of that we should be doing other than hunting the last final Mother Crystal. Now, I want to know what the best weapon in the game is. I have a feeling it will be whatever we do, end game. So, Ultima appears to be the end game boss. I mean, I cannot think of any other boss that we'll fight at the end of the game. Ultima appears to be the big bad that wants Clive and wants all the icons. So, I know there's new game plus. There's no end game content, so you cannot do anything once you complete the game. So, yeah, I'm confident you do new game plus and then you can get the best weapon in the game. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. Oh, go on then. So, should be the final quest. Should be, but you never know. Okay, so, speak with Hippocrates. Now, how long is this game? Because I want to say, I mean, actually, I checked on the PlayStation 5 as this feature. If anyone doesn't have a PlayStation 5, when you're on your home screen and a game is highlighted, 
you know, like your most recently played games or whatever disc you've got on the console at the moment, it highlights how many hours you've actually played. Now, it does factor in even time spent idle on the main menu, on the pause screen. It's saying about 21 hours. Now, I'm confident I've done about two or three hours less of that just by pausing sit at the menu while I'm editing. So we put about 18 hours into it. Now it is reported to be a 25 to 35 hour game. How much longer have we actually got left considering we've defeated Hugo? There's only about two icons left, three. Bahamut, Phoenix, who else? Odin and Ultima. Is Ultima classed as an icon? Apocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? And what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm... Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. An obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Ooh, we get a pick again. Okay, okay. So, look at these two backshot baddies. <laughs> backshot baddies. Bareback backshot baddies. Now, I've had plenty of time with Jill. Haven't had any time with Tarja. All I know is that she removed the brand from Clive's face and she works in the infirmary. So, I'm actually going to take her. Maybe we'll learn a bit more about her backstory, similar to how we did with Otto. There's more in-depth to the character. So yeah, let's go with Tarja. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? 
Let's go with Backshot Buddy number one. Come on down. All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. Sorry, Jill, we've upgraded to another baddie. Okay, so... What area is this? We've already been there, clearly. Northreach. Oh, okay, that's where... What are they called? Um, the dame. That's where the dame is, actually, yeah. With the guard and the dame. One of the dames. Where's Taya? Okay, where is she? Oh, here we go. Oh, actually, let's have a look at the merchant, see what you've got to sell. The enhancer. Oh! Okay, okay, let's actually buy that. You've a keen eye. The Enhancer does 213, 215. Now, the other sword that we just had. Hang on, let me have a look to see if there's anything else that we should use. So, let's use a Platinum Excellent Belt. Excellent choice. Been a while since we've upgraded our materials. Hmm. I'm not buying any music not for that price. Not a chance. Let's get some more high potions because we did end up using them during the boss fight with... No, we didn't actually end up using any with uh, Titan. We used them before Titan. Oh, okay. It's like a... It's shaped like a Curious. Okay. Looks pretty sweet. Now, just before we actually go ahead, I want to double check I'm actually making the right decision using that weapon. Okay, so if we go on... Where is it? Gear and icons, here we go. So, the Enhancer does 230 and 215, the other one does 225 and 225. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go for the Grindstone purely because, yet yeah, we lose 5 attack from the Enhancer, but then we're also sacrificing 10 from Stagger. I believe, I believe the stars with the little circle in it are Stagger. Okay, no better weapons to use. It's a, it's a shame that one of the first swords we got was a nicer looking sword, but to upgrade it and get it on par with my current weapons, it will take a long time. There you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up, take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the peppio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Okay. This might just be a straightforward quest then. Probably because part two of Letting Off Steam was just straightforward fighting, so maybe this is just more collect the items, speak to Tarja, and then get some materials, and then Mid should be able to build the ship. Now that ship, I have a feeling we're going to use that to get to whatever area next to have another big battle. Okay, so we got it all. Hopefully, Ty is finished too. Surely it's not that simple. Well, she wanted to go visit someone. She did say she wanted to visit someone before, so maybe we have to accompany her. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Okay, <laughs> let's give her some nuts. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat.
Do you know? I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us, all you still do, it's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring, you're appreciated too, by all of us. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tome so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Okay, so we just need to get back, speak to Hippocrates, and that should be the end of the quest for Out of the Shadow and Letting Off Steam Free. Now, I do actually like these little side quests where, even though they are seen as fetch quests, essentially, you have the option to learn more about characters. So that is the most we've learned about Tarja in the entire game. Now, all we know previously before that was she helps out in the hideaway, she's been there a long time, she works in the infirmary. So it's nice to actually get to know more about her. I wish we could choose which companion to take on our journeys, but doesn't allow that unfortunately but it'd be just nice to know more about the people in the hideaway i wonder how hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew maybe obviously if i do a load of side quests i'll learn more about the people here like obviously if you look, take a look at all the icons around here there's so many side quests now that's probably on me that's well it is that's my fault for not doing loads of side quests and learning more about the people but it would take so damn long to do it all I think there's about 70 side quests. Yeah, about 70 side quests there is, which is... Pff, that's brutal. Ah, better late than never. We're ready to begin whenever you are. Okay. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill. Would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. 
a shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Quest complete, baby! We all getting through these quests quite quickly. This gives me confidence we're about less than 10 hours away from the game. And we got a level up. Oh, this is just perfect. So we met up with a new backshot baddie, we got a level up, and we're getting a new ship. What more could we want? Oh, and we got a new sword as well. See, it just keeps getting better and better. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. It's still crazy that they just decide to name someone Mid. <laughs> like, did they realise what consequences this would have to social media? I mean, I'm not down with all that lingo, to be honest. I'm uh, 27 years old and I'm like an old man in my head, so people will say all these phrases and be like, like, I have to, you know, when people were like roasting each other, but you know, when they're doing ratio, which that's died down a bit now when people do ratio, but it's when someone replied with a dot. It's like a counter ratio, I believe. I mean, I'm. I'm too uninformed and too old to understand this shit, so I sometimes have to Google it and find out. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four Mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? Keep it to yourselves, eh? Oh, thank goodness. I honestly thought we would have to do more fetch quests. Whew! What a relief. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. 
thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown, searching for a land untouched by the blight, just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. I hope she's got a gift for us. Another weapon wouldn't go amiss. Hey, am I going the right way? No, okay. So we're going to visit Sid's grave. A new missive has been added regarding Sid's chambers. It's gonna be it's gonna be heartbreaking seeing Sid's grave, isn't it? Oh man. Alright, Clive. Astrid. We'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Maybe she's put off going to her dad's grave. Hmm. I think she is, because when you think about it, she's not going to want to go, is she? Might bring back some sad memories. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Okay, my dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. A friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of a strong box with us, but considerable knowledge of the goings on in free cities by which I learned the endeavours of a certain young friend of yours. Miss Tellerman's project to be quite the valiant enterprise. I doubt the authorities will kindly take the unauthorised use of their dockyards. If rumours has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at my door. Uh, which is why I pen you this note that I'd like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, and he might keep watch of those who might mean our little fellowship ill. Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh seems that way well nothing we can do about it now but next time you plan on visiting sid 
You might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. <laughs>